Hi, I'm Jack Lucas, finalist of MasterChef 2014, and welcome to my winter warmer series for Scoff. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for a super simple German schnitzel with caramelised onion and apple chutney. So first things first, we're going to start making the onion chutney, which works wonderfully well with the pork schnitzel in this dish. Okay, start by popping a couple of tablespoons of oil into a non-stick, heavy base saucepan. Next, add in the onions, garlic, shallots, and apple. Give it a good stir, add a good pinch of seasoning, pop on the lid, and leave to stew down for 20 minutes. Right, so while the chutney cooks down, we're gonna start with the schnitzel. Now, first things first, we're gonna take the pork chop and just flatten it out a little bit to make sure that it's cooked through once we come to deep frying. So to do that, I'm going to pop it between two sheets of cling film and give it a good bash. I'm going to use a saucepan, but you could use a rolling pin or whatever you've got around. And the idea of this is just to flatten it out a little bit. Perfect. So the pork's now a little bit thinner and it's now time to pan it. Give the pork a good dusting in the seasoned flour. Then place it into the beating egg and cover liberally. For an extra touch, I'm adding a little parmesan into the breadcrumbs and cover your pork in the parmesan breadcrumb mixture. To make sure there's an even covering, I'm going to dip it twice in the egg and back into the breadcrumbs again. Once you've done this, place it onto a clean plate ready to fry. For a full list of quantities and ingredients, head over to our website for the recipe. Now that the onions have cooked down and caramelised, it's time to deglaze the pan with balsamic vinegar. Add in the dark brown muscovado sugar and allow it to melt slightly. Loosen with a splash of water, place on the lid and allow to cook for another five minutes. Whilst the chutney finishes off, it's time to fry the pork. So place any neutral oil into a frying pan over sort of a medium high heat, enough to easily cover the bottom and you're looking for it to come up about a centimetre up to the frying pan. Drop in a breadcrumb and when it turns golden, it's time to add the pork. So all we want to do is pick it up and just lay it in away from us. And you want to hear that sizzle and you want to see those bubbles coming up because that means the oil's hot enough and it means that that oil won't sort of penetrate the breadcrumbs. By doing this, you'll have a really crispy outside and it won't be soggy and, and full with oil. So we can leave that now to fry gently for a couple of minutes, flip it over a couple minutes more on the other side and that should be done and nicely cooked through. Now it's time to plate up the pork schnitzel with the lovely caramelised onion and apple chutney, which I'm serving with a really nice raw fennel and apple salad. If you like the video, please do give it a like, leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel, Scoff Food on YouTube. See you again next time.